What's going on guys? Jerry here again. We're back in the garage today to do the DeWalt portable propane heater tent, carbon monoxide test. Got a couple lights going in here. Uh, so we're going to be using the same instruments as last time. I've got the CO detector and both thermometers, thermostats. Uh, we've got 7 degrees Celsius, 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, here's the heater. I've got it on some plywood that's not ideal, but I haven't had a chance to make up some sheet metal for it. Um, so we're going to be doing the same test as last time, same instruments. We've got the tent all set up. Uh, the analyzers are out here just getting ready. I'm going to let this run for an hour and we'll keep an eye on temperatures and CO. So I'll be back. Okay, we're back in the garage. I got the meter zeroed out. Um, it's only been 10 minutes. I just want to check on it because the tent is feeling pretty hot to the touch. Uh, I do have the fan on on the heater, so that's slightly wide. Blowing right at the door. Uh, I'm just going to check for CO before I stick my head in there. Not too much CO, but there definitely is a little bit less oxygen in there than there should be. Obviously it's being burned up, but we'll keep an eye on that. Two parts per million. Alright, well it's safer to go in. Let's see what the temperature is here. Oh wow. Okay, 15 degrees in 10 minutes. We started at 7, showing zero on the detector. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's near the ground. I'm just gonna hold it up top, see what we get at the top of the tent. This is a summer tent, it's not insulated whatsoever. Wow, yeah, it's scorching in here. Holy, okay, well, the heater works, that's for sure. Bring the uh, detector in, put that up in the top of the tent, see what kind of CO we have. I think I'm going to have to turn this thing down on low, because it's crazy hot in here. But that'll be interesting to see if that changes the CO at all. Uh, something I saw in another YouTube video, these heaters do have a a weird noise when you turn them on low, they make a really high pitch whistle. I haven't really looked into what that's about. Um, could just be the velocity of the propane going through the orifice when you restrict it like that, but I'm not sure just yet. All right, I'm just gonna switch views here to the meter. Still low CO, so that's a good start. Uh, I'm gonna put this heater to low. Let me know if you can hear the noise. That's where it starts, right there. I don't think you'll be able to hear it on camera. I'm gonna leave it just a bit higher. Whew. Wow, it is hot in here. 86 degrees down at about a foot off the ground and close to 100 at the top of the tent. So this thing, uh, this thing pumps out the heat. Just gonna put this meter in there. All right, I'm gonna leave it for another 10 minutes and we'll come check in. Okay, it's been a little over 10 minutes. Uh, I've re-zeroed this meter. The other meter is still inside the tent. So we'll see what putting the heater on low has done to the CO output. Definitely an increase in CO. I'm not sure if that's a result of being on low or just the fact that it's been about 25 minutes now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, 
still hot in here. So we're at 25 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This thermostat is pretty slow to respond. Um, this one here is a lot more instant. Let's see what we're at at the top of the tent. meter up top here as well. Hang this thing up top. There we go. Okay, so we're still showing zero on the detector. 25, like I said, that's a bit delayed. Meter's still firing away. So we do have a bit more CO, five parts per million. That's still not overly dangerous. Um, obviously, you gotta use caution whenever you're using one of these things, but that's still pretty safe. Uh, this meter's showing two parts per million at the ground. It was higher a minute ago. Just gonna put it up here. So, still almost 90 degrees in the top of the tent, but it's a little more bearable. High was crazy hot standing right in front of this thing. Um, so I might let it run another 10 minutes, see where we're at, but overall it's still looking pretty good for this heater. It's not too concerning. The oxygen level's dipping where a little bit concerning. Anything below 19%, you do start to sort of notice the effects on the body. Um, there we go, there's six parts. And again, this is a summer tent, no insulation. Uh, I do have all the the windows shut, the door was shut, so no ventilation, which is not recommended, but for the purpose of this test, I just want to see what we're, what we're working with here. So yeah, I'll give it 10 more minutes and we'll come check. Okay, final check here, we're coming up on 40 minutes of runtime. I left the meter going in here. Ooh, we're up to eight parts. 10 on the surveyor. Uh, I've got the thermometer up top. 111 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's still reading 27 degrees again behind. Um, so yeah, obviously you do need to be careful using this in a tent, but that is still a pretty safe number. Um, obviously you should ideally have Windows open, ventilation, and uh, CO detector, which in my case is still reading zero. But yeah, there we are. So all in all, still pretty safe for use in a tent. You definitely need to use your head. Um, don't go to sleep with this thing on, like I've said before. But yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, if you have any other ideas for this heater, let me know in the comments. Thanks.